This video is sponsored by LD Player. Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lace and this is a Star Healer video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about this game. We're gonna be doing a first impressions kind of thing. And we're going to be looking at a couple of different systems, the combat system, team building, progression, gacha, music, art, performance, etc., etc. However, before we go into the game itself, I do wanna say that I have actually played through this game a little bit. I thought I'd save you guys a little bit of the time by just playing through and opening a lot of the systems so I can demonstrate it. And so the first thing that I did want to mention about this was the insanely awesome music. So for the rest of the video, I am going to turn it up. I am going to risk the DMCA, but screw it. Freaking screw it, my guys. And because I know you guys are going to ask, here is the Star Healer YouTube channel where you can see that they have uploaded their entire freaking music BGM. You can see Future Bass MP3, Future Pop MP3, Golden Samurai MP3. You get the point. All right. And so with that being said, let's jump right into the game. Let's slam that tap anywhere button and we are going to log in. So in terms of music, I think you guys already heard it. I rate it. I think it's got some of the best music in a lot of the gacha games these days. It's on par definitely with like your Dislight and uh, Aromancer. But like speaking of these kinds of like, you know, really sick music background based games, it doesn't always mean quality. And so my guys, when we log in, we are going to be in our spaceship. And in the spaceship, we can interact with a whole bunch of different things, such as the game level, main street. You guys already know what this is. This is essentially like all of your different modes and your upgrade systems. We've got a, we've got a black hole over here. Still not really sure what that one does, but this is essentially your home for the rest of the game. So if I interact with that, I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of resources. These are strawberries, which I can actually equip to units. And so from here, let's start off with the most important... Look at that freaking cat with legs, dudes. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> and then that cat with legs also has a little brother over here with, with no legs and no body, I guess. But yes, let's kick things off with the story mode. I'm going to come up here, click the game console, and you can see that we are sorted into the world's uh, happy land at the end. Right now, I'm up to kitten land, I think. And so from this UI, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty standard, right? You've got your different worlds, like world one, two, three. You've got the extras. You've got the hard mode over here. If I come back here, you can see that the fruit land, I've unlocked one, one or like one, three or whatever. And so, you know what? Maybe I'll just demonstrate a stage here. So one, nine is where I'm currently at. I'm going to hit go. And this is my team over here. You have three units and then you have for each of those units, a weapon. And then for each of those units, you also have a pet kind of thing, which is quite interesting. So from here, it is pretty straightforward where we can just like configure the characters, the weapons and the pets. If I click into like my main character, you see it's pretty cute. And this is essentially the sprite that we will be playing in terms of the stats and all of that. It's pretty straightforward. Like I can click this up and this is going to hopefully let me evolve. And the really neat thing about this game is that all of the like upgradable things. So I'm talking the characters, I'm talking the weapons and the pets. They all have like a progression. The one star to two star is different to the three star, different to the four star, etc, etc. And I just really like that incremental visual change. You can really see that they've gone for a very stylistic approach for the UI, right? Like it's kind of cute, kind of funky, almost like Splatoon-like. And although we are going to be playing with little chibi-esque characters, there are actually skins which do skin those chibi-esque characters. Like Look at that, that's pretty freaking sick. And the splash, I would simp for that, you know? I would simp for that. But anyway, let's get a move on with this one. So let's come back over here, come back over here. And this is our team. I'm going to hit go. Oh, there was an assist button, but it's essentially you bring a friend and pub stomp that entire stage. So maybe I can, uh, should I zoom in a bit? Mm, okay, so I know it looks really bad, but the thing is personally, I really like like the zoomed out look. You can actually adjust the distance. So I'm just going to go a little bit closer. I think that's about the default. Come back over here, save the changes and let's go back, continue. So let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see uh, auto mode is attacking. So this is my character. These are my two other characters in my party. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running around and essentially like destroying things. So my character, as you can see, okay, let me go a little bit closer. All right, that's a lot better. So you can see my character, like we are just shooting stuff. And then we've got another one of my characters up here. She is shooting stuff as well. And then I've got one who is whacking with a stick. And I think the TLDR of the combat in this game is that it is really, really reminiscent of your Guardian Tales, which I actually really like. And so for the auto settings, I can click on auto attack and have auto cast on or off and then allies dispersed. If allies dispersed is on, that means that they will actually walk away from me and go kill things on their own. And honestly, the AI is, it's actually pretty good. And so yeah, that's essentially the combat system as well as all of the battles and stuff. 
kind of in a summary and we are now back in the base. So in terms of the performance, I hope you guys have been paying attention, but I don't think I've actually dropped under 60 FPS ever since I launched the game. However, if I click the settings and then I go down here, smooth mode, you can go 30 to 60 FPS. 60 FPS, of course, will consume a little bit more power. And then on the right hand side, we have the qualities in which because I'm playing on a PC, I can go on high quality. We also actually do have HDR settings over here, which again is going to either lag you or really overheat your phone. But otherwise, that's all of the honestly, the most important settings. We have the language over here. We can actually go into Chinese, but there is no like Japanese, no Korean. And this is also reflected in the voice acting when we finally get there. There is actually only Chinese voice acting, which is you know, it's quite interesting. In terms of the gacha rate, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't actually clicked in to have a look at these. Let's have a look at these probability details. And so it looks like we have a 66% chance for a common, 30% for a rare, and 4% for a legendary. Okay, so it looks like the rate up is at 1.2%. Oh, I do see something that I'm not exactly a fan of, which is we are going to have a split rate with the weapon. 1.4% out of the 4%. Eh. <laughs> but that being said, a highest rarity of legendary with rates at 4% doesn't seem too bad. And let's just go, let's go slam a couple. All right, hopefully this will help your gacha. Oh, oh, no way. <gasps> what? Unlock all. Is that a freaking lollipop? What? What? Okay, that's cool. That's all right, whatever. Okay, again, 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 again. Another one? Oh my god, another one? Nope, never mind. I'm just, yep, okay. We've got a golden one over here. It is what it is. All right, let's unlock all. All right, and so as you can see, we have the exchange over here. There is a pity of 200, which isn't bad. However, the income seems kind of, it's kind of lukewarm. Because as you guys previously saw, I played through like maybe like three or four worlds out of the current possible eight, and I only had 25 pulls. It's, it's it's kind of weird, man. <laughs> yeah, so aside from that, we have a whole bunch of different pools for different things, like you got weapons, you got for the pets, etc., etc. Let's come back out over here and let me show you the upgrade system. So there is quite a lot going on here. So as I showed you guys before, I could actually click into a character, click into Sim over here, and then up it, up the character. I need a couple more mats to star up, but I can actually do the same thing with weapons and pets. So for example, if I take the cat with the legs, um, that's, yeah, it's, it's kind of ugly, dude. I can up his stats over here. You can see his stats and his levels are actually increasing. And then when do I get to a certain, oh my God, he grows a tail. Let's go. When I get to a certain point, we can actually up him. And so you can see the cat with legs now is a cat with legs and a tail and still no body, which is like a little freaking weird, but it's actually kind of cute now that I look at it a bit more. Okay, you know what? I think the next evolution is gonna be kind of creepy because we have two tails or maybe those are two arms. I don't know, but let's get the hell out of here. So my guys, before we kept going, I wanted to take a quick break to talk about our sponsor, LD Player. LD Player is a modern lightweight emulator that is perfect for mobile gaming uh, on your PC. It's got features like multi-instancing. We've got screenshotting over here. We've got sync operations. We've got instant install APKs just by dragging it in, etc., etc. And personally, I really love LD Player because of the LD Store. This bad boy has slipped me into a couple more betas that I probably shouldn't have been in. And as you can see from Star Healer, the game that we're playing right now, it is playing fantastically. So my dudes, if you would like to try out Star Healer or LD Player, head on down to the description or the pinned comment below and click on that link. Thanks again to LD Player for the sponsorship and with that, let's get back to the video. And then to correspond to each of the characters as well as weapons and pets, you can actually click into this cube thing over here. And then we have these sugars, which you essentially are playing bingo to try to line up to get these bonuses on this side. So to achieve this bonus over here, I need like a full line of something of like sugars. Uh, I need to clear out these with that currency. Boom, bada bing, boom. You can see this one and this one is being consumed. Bam. I Actually, I don't really want HP, but whatever, whatever. I'm already halfway through, let's keep going. And then all of this is also actually relevant to the other two of the weapons and the pets. So if I click into this one, you can do it as well with these sugars over here. And then if I come over to the pets, the same thing. Um, it means that the ceiling is actually quite high. The grind is probably going to be quite great. And so there is the possibility of this either being a massive, massive time sink or very, very pay to win. Aside from that, we do have a bunch of other systems. So if I click this one over here, such as this main street thing over here, all right, let's, 
Let's go. I actually don't know where we're going. I, I don't remember what this is. Oh, okay. So you can actually come over here and I suspect this is actually going to be your PVP. Infinite Forest. So I'm going to click Interact. Season is over. I do suspect that it is going to be the PVP. However, it is not open right now. I'm going to go back to my spaceship. So next we have the Blood Typer and essentially everything I'm about to show you is like more and more upgrades, right? You can like slam two of the things together, essentially fuse them. I'm going to come over here. I think the black hole is probably disintegrating your units so you can get a currency. I'm like 99% sure it is. We've got the sugar machine. We've got the sugar pool in which we're getting sugars, which will go and upgrade your characters and weapons, etc. Like that matrix, the bingo thing that I showed you before. And to be honest, that's pretty much like the most important systems. Uh, we do have a couple of different events. Like these things are claimable. You just got to do a couple of things like log in and stuff. Ah, there is one thing that is pretty important that I probably should mention. And that is that the story mode is actually over here under the plot tab. So it's actually really interesting because they separated out the story from the battle mode, which a lot of the other games actually do, such as like Princess Connect and Blue Archive. And this story mode is actually pretty cool because there are different routes and it takes quite a while to actually get to the end. For each of the planets, Kittenland, Snowland, etc, etc, there is a different path for each one. And then in each of these, there are good ends, bad ends. In the first one, I think when I ended here in the Fruitland, I'm pretty sure I died. I'm pretty sure here I died. I ate like a grape or something and then I died. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, we died. Yep. We, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. <laughs> but yeah, in terms of the story itself, I'll click into this one and you can see it's very, very standard. Not really any like live 2D or anything. It's a lot of talking like here and there and here and there, etc, etc. However, I think this is a pretty good time to talk about like the style of the game. And I just got to say, I'm not really a big fan of this. It's like, it's almost a little bit too childish for me, where I don't know if that's Comic Sans, but it's pretty freaking close. So from a performance point of view, the game actually runs really well. However, when I look at the pictures, sometimes like if I look at this guy over here or even this one over here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but like at least switch to 1080p, these guys are pretty like blurry. And I just kind of wish that they used a little bit higher quality assets, like even just like upscaling it using the AI tools or something like that. And it's the combination of all of these different things, like especially like the blurry which makes me really feel like this is just a quite a cheap game but yeah otherwise in terms of performance it is actually great it's quite like silky smooth and everything is moving fast 60 fps stylistically it's really cute i just wish it was like a little bit more professional right like this blood type of this black hole it almost looks like it was written in paint kind of thing. And so to summarize this game, I do want to say that this is just a really, really chill game to pass the time. However, like, unfortunately, I would not invest a significant amount of money or time into this. It's kind of like, well, I'm just going to waste a Friday night playing this cute little gacha game and just like shooting shit up um, within the virtual world. You know, this ain't... Um, it's in a dangerous country. I do feel like there was a lot of love put into this game because a lot of the graphics, a lot of the music, a lot of the performance and all of that, it actually makes for a quite a decent game. I just almost feel like they just worked with what little budget they had. So yeah, that's kind of my final thoughts about this game. It's very much like a really nice time waster, something nice to try out. However, I can't take this one like, you know, to the, the giga optimized kind of min max. Like I want to be really, really serious about it. I do have to say that the best part about this game is the music because as you guys have been hearing throughout the entire video, it is freaking banging. And so yeah, very, very charming game. I am in love with the music. I definitely will be downloading a little bit from their YouTube channel. However, that is going to bring us to the end of the video, aka the secret question. My well, guys, let me know if you are willing to give this one a shot. I would say again, very, very comfy, almost Guardian Tales like casual shooter. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you do end up leaving one, thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, or turning on that notification bell. However, as uh, what the fr as these cat hands once said, I guess all good things must come to an end. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye.